What's going on guys? Haven't made a video in a little while. I thought I should update you guys on the 370Z. That's the state that it's in right now. Uh, I recorded some videos on stuff that's been going on to it lately. But, uh, well lately I mean in 2017. But uh, I haven't posted a video, so this video here is going to be kind of a uh, video explaining of everything that got done to the car so far. Um, a couple things got replaced. I do have videos, or actually I actually have pictures for the windshield replacement. And uh, there's still an intakes, those intakes that I was trying to get made. I actually just ended up contacting Stillen and purchasing a set of the intakes. And I filmed that in uh, 2017 but I never put it out so basically what I feel like we need to do here is I need to apologize to everybody who has subscribed so far because I have not been posting videos like I said I would um, but basically the interior of the car is done now so the only thing we need to move on to is paint paint and bodywork so uh, for bodywork there's not really much bodywork to do on it um, I contacted a paint shop here in Jacksonville Florida where I'm at and um, they're going to take care of the paint work for me. Um, I'm still waiting to get an estimate back from them. Because I really do want to get this car on the road. Like I've been saying that for, I don't know, a whole year. I just procrastinated on it. You know, money. Money was kind of tight for a little while. So, uh, yeah, I kind of put this car in the back burners. But we're going to be getting back into it now, guys. Alright, guys. So, let's see what we got going on in the box. We're going to unbox it live here. With you guys on camera for the YouTube this is literally the most expensive part that I've got well not the most expensive part I'm lying when I say that I mean the one that hurt my feelings the most because it was really expensive like I said $315 for this so 2 a.m. oilless air filters which are supposed to be better well same quality as the K&N's and then we have the two pipes that got bent and literally that was $315 guys so I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap those show you guys what it looks like alright guys so that's what they look like um, they don't still only sells these in a polished uh, finish so we're gonna have to get these powder coated we'll, we'll get them sent down and powder coated uh, in the near future that's not really a priority right now Let's go ahead and take this stuff outside. So these are the filters. There's the other one out of the box. Uh, let's go ahead and take this stuff outside and get it fitted on the car and see how it fits. So as you guys can see, the front bumper is off. Um, I actually upgraded the filters from the K&Ns to the uh, AM ones. The AM ones are a little bit better because you don't have to oil. I think these you have to oil after a certain amount of mileage or a certain amount, a certain amount of use. I don't know, you guys can correct me in the comments about that, but these are oiled filters. Those ones are oil less. So let's go ahead and uh, pull these off and install them and see what they look like. Alright guys, so this is the end result. This is what they look like. Uh, they definitely do need to be powder coated that red to match that because I kind of don't like how it goes red over to this brushed uh, aluminum. Look. Not brushed, it's uh, polished aluminum. So what we're going to do is we're going to sand those down and get them powder coated eventually. That's really not a priority. The system is complete now. So... All I gotta do is put clamps on here and then tighten those clamps down. But uh, we're gonna do that later on. Because right now I gotta run to the shop and take care of a customer. So uh, that is what she looks like so far. So they come in from intake. This is driver side intake. And then passenger side intake comes down in to there like that. So that's another step closer. Um, like I said, next thing we're gonna do is probably the under tray. And I need to get new inner fenders. I got the I ordered those off eBay. They're actually the wrong ones for the Nismo bumper. The Nismo bumper takes a specific um, inner fender well. So I'm going to have to order those. Uh, but besides that, the whole front of this thing is almost done. And a couple more things the car needs. is like It needs those fender wells, but um, that's nothing that, that can... It, it's really no big deal because like the car can get painted in the state that it's in because all the body panels are there it's just like inner fender wells um the under tray stuff like that i need to purchase still but there's these 
the daytime running lights those are actually another item I need to purchase but those are kind of expensive so I might just start driving it without those and figure out how it goes I do want to get the emblems on there the Nismo emblem and the Nissan emblem and then I want to paint the headlights too I'm gonna show you guys what I want to do with the headlights I don't know if you guys remember but when this car was wrecked this headlight over here got replaced um, there's the old headlight so this one's all busted up and broke and all kinds of different ways um, it's scratched right there really the only part of the lens is damaged is right here but uh, anyways so this is what I'm gonna do I took this headlight apart I baked it in the oven pulled the lens off of it and then pulled all the inserts out of the inside took them and then painted the, the chrome section black and then did these little rings here in red I think that light looks really sharp so we're gonna do that with both of these and then once this car is painted white and has those headlights on it it's gonna look dope all right guys thanks for watching make sure to stay tuned for more videos more videos coming out on the 370 um we should be getting the under tray pretty soon make sure to subscribe and like the video thanks for watching stay tuned